I want to show you my very first junk journal. One of my friends, Beth from Vintage Bandits, she makes a lot of these and she does a lot of paper crafting and so does my other friend Carmen from Carmen's Curiosity Shop. I'm going to put their YouTube links in the description. I actually picked up this paper from Beth when I went to visit her in Lexington. This is a Monaghan paper. They're placemat size and I just went ahead and I used the entire sheet as my book um, cover. And so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to show you how I made this. Um, yesterday in Christ and Crafting, I started this and I was so addicted I couldn't stop until I actually finished it. So on the inside, I put cardstock to cover up the cardboard that I used to make this cover. Then I attached um, lyric hymns music. I did that on, on both the back and the front covers. Then I, I purchased from Etsy a digital paper for, for junk journaling. And I'll put the description in the link of the ones that I purchased. I purchased three different ones, but I used one whole set from this one designer and I could have designed it myself but this is new to me and so I wasn't really sure and I was trying to get ready for my live and so this just becomes a little pocket inside and then um, it put these little tags some of them I cut it out and I didn't go back I need to go back and put strings on the ones where I put a hole in it but it has different scripture verses which is so uh, cool and then I made this envelope with some scrapbooking paper that I purchased from Walmart. Um, I purchased a pad. I'll probably put this like this. And then um, this is just one of the papers in the pad that coordinate. And this now becomes a little journaling um, little tag. This is actual book cover. And um, I thrifted the book while we were out. I don't know if it was in Tennessee or, yeah, I think it was Tennessee. And I used the book for something else. And I really liked the, the tree. It reminded me of being rooted and grounded. And then I started reading it and it says, How to Live with Life. And it's the book of life, the prince of life, Jesus. This is a Bible junk journal. And I thought, how appropriate. So I covered up the inside jacket text with the coordinating cardstock. And I just, I left that there. And then I have this other tag. See, I, I put a little punch hole in it. But I still have to get some nice ribbon to put on these. I don't have anything yet. And then this little circle came from the... Etsy store and then this is actual cardstock and I created three signatures so I'm new to junk journaling uh, signatures are actual mini books or mini collection of books and so this is one this is two it's smaller and then this is three and I just put it like that all together and then I use this ribbon that I thrifted in Tennessee at um, one of the booths had a lot of sewing stuff and so I purchased this on and um, I tied it so you can remove it you can change it out you can add more to it and so so see on the on the back side you can see the three signatures and they're just attached like that and I used just twine I'm not happy with it, but I just use this because it's all I had to actually bind the books together to themselves. And so you can see I use that little, kind of looks like a stamp. So this is the cardstock. I, I folded it up to create a folder. And then I have this little tag. And I, I left that open like that. And I didn't glue it so that it would just stick there. And this is just a little like bookmark if she wanted um, with, again, I need to put string on. And this is just decorative. And then this one um, has just a little saying on it. And I, I, some of them, most of them I put on cardstock, like thick white cardstock or cream colored cardstock or the pad that I bought. 
And so what I did was this section, this folder, is the Old Testament. And they're just some of my favorite stories or scriptures and things that are meaningful that we can apply today. This one is about Esther, that we were created for such a time as this. And then here's a page that you can just journal on. And I coffee stained all of the scripture pages. And then I just put this little pocket here with two different scrapbooking papers. Um, this is the same paper that's coordinated on here. And then I left the border around. And this is Romans 12 too. And I know this is the Old Testament, but there was more New Testament scriptures in that pack. So I just went with it. And so this is just free form journaling. Um, here I made a little pocket, this little cutout butterfly. And then again, this one I, I went ahead and I cut and I just put it on the cardstock from the Walmart pad and it just goes right in here. And then here's another little pocket where you can stick stuff. You can still journal all through here. And then this is Proverbs 4, 5 through 6. Um, one of my favorite scriptures that Solomon wrote, in all of your getting, get wisdom. That's the principal thing. And it's God's wisdom, not our wisdom. And then, um, again, this is going to be a New Testament just because that the majority were. But cast all your fears on him. And there's a little half round. And I just put it this way to put a little scripture, but you can still journal all around. Journal, journal. And then this is just a card cardstock card and you could dribble or not doodle <laughs> not dribble don't dribble on it although you wouldn't know um change your mind and it says proverbs fourteen twelve. um this is also a scripture that i use a lot and is there's a way that seems right to man but the end leads to death it's also in proverbs 16 worded exactly the same and um you know it's either good or god do you want what God has for you or what seems good to you. There's a big difference, more journaling. And this is a little pocket there. And this is just, I didn't even back it in anything. It's just copy paper. It's Luke. Um, I can't even read it upside down. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach freedom to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. I love that scripture. He's called us all to that. Um, and then here, Habakkuk 2, 2, write down the vision and make it plain. We have to write it down so that we can run it and do it and when we get confused we go back to the word that God told us so that is great wisdom and then here's a card I put it on the back of this card stock and it's Isaiah 26 3 I just love that saying and if she has white marker which I actually do have these gel markers um, that she could do what she wanted. And then this was from, this is an entire page of the other side's gonna be here and I have another in the other section. That was a coloring book, a gospel coloring book, but it had these prayer devotions. So, you know, you could just write in it and you could actually color it. And then this just has a little pocket. And then this came from that Etsy pack that I bought, which I thought was great. Uh, the antidote to worry and then you could write down um, your thoughts and then you know but according to that and then on the back and then this is the other side of that doodle page and then peace of mind I just put that from that pack as well on the black and then he, these are two pockets um, I didn't fill them all out but like you know there you go it's a pocket there and it's John 8 31 this one, I just um, left it on the copy paper. No, I didn't. Oh, I see. That's right. I forgot. This one is a card. And so I left it open. I didn't put it on cardstock so you could doodle on there. Or write what you think, what God is sharing with you. And here's another little pocket. And I put this on the cardstock. And then I left some open space where you could stick stuff in there. But you could still write some thoughts down and even doodle around here. And then this is the other side of that card that I stuck. I just shoved it in. Um, it's just in here. 
And then this is Ecclesiastes 4, 6 through 12. And it talks about two are better than one. And it's, it also, I like to pair this scripture and I didn't do it here, but with iron sharpens iron. Um, it's two are better than one like-minded people that could help each other out and woe to the one who has no friend to pull him up out of, you know, a pit or that they've fallen. And, um, a three corded braid is not easily broken. And that's when you have Jesus at the center of every relationship, you can, you know, nothing can tear that apart. And then some doodle. And I had this little, um, template and I use it a lot. And I just use this gold marker and I just, some of them, I drew them out. I colored the whole thing. Some of them, I just did a lines and just gives you some nice space to write in, encourages writing. And then this is Joshua one, five through nine, um, be strong in the Lord. And he repeats himself, be strong and courageous, be strong, um, that he, he's going to be with us. And so here's another, so the, it, that's one of the smaller ones, see? And this is actually an envelope. So you pull it out and you can shove stuff in there, but it's got these little tickets and it says Hope, Hope Tea Room, Spring Art Show, Admit One. And it, I just put them in there like that. I thought it was really cute. So you could still doodle all over there. And then here is the end of this signature. I put a little pocket. I have this scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean on unto your own understanding. Um, you can't say that enough. You know, there's a way that seems right to man, but the end leads to destruction. And that's just a little uh, coordinating cardstock. I just put it in there. It could be like a bookmark. And then this is the envelope that's glued. And then I put that little pocket over that and so here is a the pocket of the folder of the cardstock i just put it on actual white cardstock and it just says finally my brethren be strong in the lord ephesians 16 10 through 17 and he talks about the full armor of god and i actually have that scripture in my pack in the new testament but this is nice because you can take it out and um read it so that's the end of the first signature so the second signature, I made it a little bit special, I think, because, um, well, let's talk about this. I created this little um, pocket. I put some glitter cardstock, and then I had some scraps of one of my papers, and I just lined that to um, edge it. And then I just put this on here to pull it in and out. And it says, I really like the sentiment. It says, go to sleep in peace. God is awake. Don't we need that to remember God's in control. He knows everything, right? So this is another card stock that I um, surrounded the second signature with. I didn't make the pocket like I did this one. I just cut it to size. And then I had this paper. It's kind of like vellum, but it's textured. It might be vellum, but it was part of a whole art pack that I had um, gotten from an estate sale. So I used it and I just cut it up in different sections and I made, I turned it into a pocket. So this is an envelope. Now this pack that I bought from Etsy, it's supposed to be printed in color, but for the life of me, I could not get my color printer to print it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just not going to fight it. I'm going to do it in black and white. And it still, I think, turned out really great. So here's another card. Do not worry. Pray and praise. And then I put some lines in there. And again, you can still write on here on the outside. So what this signature is, is I actually copied my Bible. Um, Psalm 119 is a go-to for me. It's broken down into 22 sections, 8 verses each. And there's so much wisdom, so much goodness. And I write in my Bible. And so I wrote all over it and then giving, giving place to write down extra things. And I just, um, it's just my Bible. I, and then at the end of it, I did, I have this little punch that creates really cool borders. Let me see. There we go. 
And so I did that border. You can see how pretty that come out. I meant I meant to do more that way, and I just forgot. And I just started gluing because I was like in the thick in the thick of it. This is just a cute little botanical. And then I did see how I colored that one in a little bit more, made them thicker. And then this is Psalm 37, 5, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall give you, and he shall bring it to pass. Okay, I was like reading another scripture there. All right, so I'm going to put that there. So that's the end of it. So this section is the New Testament. And again, I did this little vellum thing to make a pocket. I actually had something in here, but I changed it out and I put it somewhere else. Um, so this is James 4, 7 through 10. Um, submit yourself to God and resist the devil and he will flee. These are just words of wisdom to live by. All of the scriptures that I chose are things that are really important to me or things that I say or that I wholeheartedly believe. Um, and this is a pocket. And then here is 2 Corinthians 3, 5 through 8. I, I use this a lot because God actually tells us to examine ourselves, to make sure that we're in the faith, that we haven't believed lies, that we're believing truth. And so examine yourself. It's so important to do that. God, am I believing lies? Remove all falsehood from me. There's actually a proverb that says that. Remove all falsehood and lies from me. I pray that often. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 13. You know, we use the word love loosely. I love cars. I love God. I love my house. I love this chair. I love my phone. I actually love coffee. I love coffee. You know, we, we have one word, but in the Greek, they had three words for love. And But um, uh, more importantly, God is love and he defines love. And this is the definition of love, 1 Corinthians 13. So I talked about getting some prints um, from an auction um, that I had won. It was an online auction. It, this this was part of it. It's an envelope with owls and the prints are owls. And so I just thought I would put that in there and look how old it is. You could see it. And so you could hide stuff in there. And then I took another half circle. Instead of doing it the other way, I did it towards this way. And I made a little pocket. And this is Joshua 1.8. Again, you know, we talked about Joshua and the other, but it's just nice to be able to pull it out and remember. So John 1, 1 through 5, and it talks about in the beginning was God and God was is, is, is the word. And Jesus is the word. And he's talking about he was always there. He didn't just pop up one day. He was always there. And he is life and he is the light of the world. And, um, and that's what that says. Then in Ephesians, um, six, 10 through 18, we have to have the full armor of God to be clothed, ready for battle as a warrior. And so then there's page to write. And then this is, this is nice. Romans eight. I love Romans. I do have Romans in here as well, but it just, um, has a nice little sentiment on there with the scripture. And so this is another of those doodle pages in the gospel um, coloring book. And then 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10. I have to read it. because Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should know this. I know this. I just quote it all the time. But it's hard when I'm talking and I'm thinking, ahead, trying to think ahead. Um, that we are called out of darkness. We are chosen. We are his royal priesthood. And, you know, you have to carry yourself like royalty. We are that. And we represent God everywhere we go. So this is a little, I did it this way, this little envelope. And you can just put little things in there and doodle all around, write it, whatever you want here. And then Romans 8. So I said I had Romans 8, but I, I went ahead and I put the whole thing. Um, and it talks about sons of God. These are the sons of yeah. Therefore, there is now no condemnation. I can't remember how much I had done. Um, there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And then I, I skipped around, but it talks about um, for all who are led by the spirit are sons. You have to be led. You have to actually follow. Um, it's not just in word. It's an action. It's faith and action. It's, um, you know, works are not dead. We have to do both. So that's what that is. And then this one, 
Romans. Oh, it's still Romans. I did I did a full spread and I just jumped around and picked some of my favorite parts. I mean, it's all my favorite, but what I wanted to relay here. And so then here's another. And then um, this one is, see this sheet is smaller, but I taped it on to here. And then I left this where it could flap so that you could use this page and then you could journal behind it. And it talks about worry. And then here's another page. Here's the other doodle page for writing your prayers. Um, and then here we go. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 9, 4, 5. All of these cutouts are from that pack that I bought at Etsy. And this is the back of that envelope. See, you can slide it in and out because it's not really that tight. But you could totally doodle or write something on here. And here's a little pocket. And I put a little um, trifold. So it's just a little trifold and you could write something in there. And then this is really cool. I meant to do more of this. So I cut out this, made a pocket and I got this and you crinkle, it crinkles up paper. Oh my gosh. Like I love to play with it. Like you just put it through. Let me show you. I actually scored all of these things these a lot of these punches and tools and I sold a lot of it on eBay and now some of it I wish I had it because it's before I knew about junk journaling and how cool is this it's just so textured and so I did that on this one and then created this pocket I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to glue this in here somehow and then this okay so what I did with this one these are 12 by 12 scrapbooking papers that come in a pad. So I cut it to the size of eight and a half by, uh, what is it? Four and a half or five and a half, eight and a half by five and a half. And I actually left this a little bit uh, longer and I folded it so you could stick stuff in here. Like, see, you can just stick stuff in there. So that's the last pack. This is the book cover that I had inserted, the one with the big tree. See, it's just, I glued it here in the middle and I glued it down. I had a hard time gluing that down. It kept pulling it out. So I put a strip of cardstock here from that pad and laid it down. And then I covered up that back jacket with the, the tech, the words. I didn't want that on there. And then I put this, I actually put it on cardstock, sil that silver glittery cardstock, and then I covered the back with this printable, and then Philippians 4, 6 scripture, and it just becomes a little tag, and then, um, so this is the back jacket. I might end up covering this text, um, we'll see, but this is just a little tag, Grace, and I made two pockets. Um, so I did, I put this in here so you could see that this is a pocket and this is a pocket. And I put a little uh, envelope here. And it's hard to see because it is black and white, but I couldn't print it in color. But you could always go back and paint it or color it with um, coloring pencils and add the color. So then again, this is a him from a book that I have and so I waxed the paper to seal it on on here I didn't wax any of the other papers I had planned on it but anyway this is my first junk journal and I'm really proud of it I love the way that it turned out I, I like that it's not so messy um, so chunky but I really like the way that it turns out and so I'll show you here like if you wanted to um, increase the pages or change the pages around, it's so easy. It's not permanent. It's not sewn in. I don't even know where my sewing machine is. So that's why I didn't want to sew it. But see how it just comes out? I just have it right in the center. It's not glued down. It's just right there in the center. And see how each one has this string that it's not even that tight. I could probably use different something different um, to have it tighter. 
but you could take this with you if you just wanted this put it in your purse or backpack if you don't want to carry the whole thing and here this allows you to see how I covered up that section um, for the book jacket so I just covered that in there and so all three signatures are just in here like this and you can see them a little bit better I think and so if you wanted to move them around you could I mean, if you wanted to put that paper there and then this here, you could totally change it around. It gives you that flexibility. So let's go ahead. Where's my center? So I hope you liked it. I don't know. Um, like I said, junk journaling is new to me. I'd never done it before. But um, when I started doing this Christ and, cra Christ and Crafting, Veronica, by Chasing Sunshine, said she wanted to do... A devotional book like a 12 day devotional book with 12 different scriptures and my friend Beth does a lot of junk journaling and when we went to visit she showed me her junk journals and I just I couldn't comprehend how I would do it or how I would use it and I haven't paper crafted in so long and I thought oh, okay you know it's it sounds good and then Carmen from Carmen's Curiosity Shop she's like the ultimate genius with paper crafting and just creativity period and um, so I started binge watching a whole bunch of YouTube. And I don't even know where I got. I mean, I watched so many. I'd fall asleep watching them. And I got really into it. I can't wait to make another one. Like, I'm really excited about it. So I hope you like it. And I hope you watch the video um, where I show what well, we started it with um with veronica i'll put the video on here but you just follow the playlist and you'll be able to see all of the videos some of the videos are on my channel and some videos are on my friends channels but they're all connected to the playlist guys i hope you have an incredibly blessed day i hope you were inspired put in the comments let me know if you have junk journaled or if you want to try it and um i'll just go ahead and do a search junk journal and even Bible junk journals. There's there's so many different ones. So I hope you guys have an incredibly blessed day. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.